I just, one of those nights that I don't want to be standing. I just want to be dancing. I don't know if it's the heat. It was a beautiful day out there. Today's what, July 1st. I'm so happy as always to be back going live, streaming live on the internet. That's kind of exciting. We have people who are watching the show in Japan, in England, in Argentina. I was so happy when I read it on Facebook. I got a couple messages, a friend of mine in England who's checking the show in France and in Japan, in Argentina as well. So that's very exciting. Very exciting. I'm happy to have my guest here, a very accomplished actor, singer, Comedian, all in one, Kimberly Faye Greenberg. Did I say it right? You did. Thanks I for having did. Me. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming by. One word to my sponsors, of course not. George Santana, do not kill me. I'm doing my job properly. The Mico's the best Italian specialties. I can smell the coffee, I can still taste it. And Rich, I love you. Madonna's Brothers Bakery, I got the breadsticks. I cannot eat them before the show because they're in your teeth. A little hard, so there's no way that I can do that, but I enjoy them very much. Fluff and Star, Quinton Bailey. Hopefully, I'm going to see you next week. I'm going to be waiting for you next week. I want to have some goodies. Okay, Katerina Lankova, you like the shirt? I'm dressing the part. I feel like Katie Couric tonight. <laughs> I feel a little good. Oh, she's not. I'm a little too edgy, but look at the color. You see? Kimberly? Yeah, it looks great. Like a vampire. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, boy. And of course, I'm bragging with my hair. Who made it happen? Who made this miracle? Bruno Salon and Spa. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love my girls. Makeup, Kathy, the hair. You rock, baby. You made it happen. I am a new woman. OK, so now that we said it, for a July weekend, we have Kimberly here in the house. Very incredible, remarkable to read what I was reading about oh, you. Thank you. You have two, the only actress in New York who's doing two Musicals, two, two leads, yes, two leading roles, two in leading roles, two legit in two different legit off Broadway musicals. Can you hear that? And can you repeat that again, Kimberly? <laughs> because that doesn't happen every single day. Okay, so I'm the first and only actress in New York right. currently performing leading roles in two different off Broadway legit musicals. That's a lot of words. Yeah, that is a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> One night with Fanny Bryce. One night with Fanny Bryce. Okay. And Danny and Sylvia. And Danny and Sylvia. The Danny Kay musical. Okay, yeah. we can we talk about that? How sure. you get cast? Study. How on earth are you doing two musicals at the same time? Well, it's something I never thought I would be doing. Uh, I think no in joke. any I think any actor is appreciative usually when they have one job, but right, nonetheless one gig. two. Yeah, right. exactly. Um, but I, they kind of fed off one another. I I was I've been doing Danny and Sylvia off Broadway for three years now. So we just celebrated our third year, and um, actually the writer of One Night with Fanny Bryce, Chip DeFoss, saw me do Sylvia in Danny and Sylvia about a year ago, and that's how he found me and approached me and asked if I knew anything about Fanny. And I said, of course, I've been studying her. I want to play her in Funny Girl, because uh -huh. I, I love Funny Girl. Of course, and, um, beautiful movie. Oh my god, Barbara is fantastic, she of is. course. You see how she calls herself? <laughs> Barbara. Barbara, if only we I can meet one day. <laughs> I love her, I love her. She, I cannot get over Barbara Streisand, I would never will. <laughs> and so, you, so he saw you he and, saw me. And, and, and then you got casted, just and like yeah, that. Yeah, well we did, we, we workshopped the show, which is usually the normal um, route uh, a new show would take. Mm -hmm. I read through the show, we workshopped it. Um, we and, and then it was a waiting game of finding out if somebody would want to actually produce it and open the show. Right, and, um, that's the key. Yeah, that's the that key. is the key, and, and, and fortunate for us, uh, my producer with Danny and Sylvia was very interested in doing the show, and we ended up putting it up there. And and now that's so I'm doing that show as well at the same time. And and what it's a one woman show all about Fanny taking her from the time she was a teenager all the way through her death, and and um, with all of the songs that she made famous that were part of her repertoire. Twenty four songs. Twenty four songs. How do you do it? I know. Uh, a lot How of stamina you... and a lot of sleep. A lot of sleep. <laughs> you sleep good at night. How many hours, uh, Kimberly? Every day. I, I try to sleep eight hours. Eight hours. Now I don't know if that always happens, but yeah. yeah. Twenty four songs. Twenty four songs Give... plus all the all the scenes because it's a two hour full musical. Meaning it's not just me. It's just not a cabaret act. It's just not me getting up there and performing right. some of her songs. It's it's me talking about her life as Fanny, and I bring in all the 
the characters that came in and out through her life, uh, Nick Arnstein, um, Billy Rose, Flo Ziegfeld, uh, her, her parents. I talk about all these different people coming in and out of her life. How have people responded to this show? Oh my gosh, the response has been completely overwhelming. And that's the funny thing is you never know what's going to happen when you open a new show, how people are going to like it. Right. And especially with something like this, uh, people are very familiar with Funny Girl and right. Barbara Streisand, and of they're course. very familiar with her portrayal. But our show is, is not, it's not Barbara, and it's not Funny Girl. It's and you. It, it's me. Kimberly. Yes, you. but Just it's also with. the real, it's more of a realistic version of Fanny Bryce. Right. Funny Girl is a very watered down version. It's very, it's almost a love letter to Fanny. But right. this really this shows. This one is more. Uh, the true, the yeah. true woman, the true realistic Behind woman. Behind that, that exactly. face. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's fun for you when, when you're doing it. Oh my gosh, it's really fun because it's constantly me talking to the audience. Okay. So um, I've never quite, I've done a lot of like cabaret, maybe 20 minute shows in my lifetime, but I've never done a full two hours. Um, just me on stage with the audience. It's, How does it's, it feel? It's, 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 Really fun. It's very scary. From it's an scary it's beginning. scary, but uh, but um, I think it's the most rewarding thing I've probably ever done in my entire life. Right before you go on stage, you feel those all those butterflies. Oh yeah, you it, do. Yeah, it's well, more risky because it's by yourself on the well, on stage. Well, exactly, and you never know what the audience is going to do. Some nights audiences are laughing all the some time. Nights some off. nights they're very quiet. Right. You oh, just the never know. Silence, that you never know what they're thinking. No. And you better not think about that, not exactly. even for a second, because exactly. then you're done. Exactly. Right? That's the trick. That's, That's the, the trick. trick. You cannot, it's for the audience, but it's not for them. Yes, you exactly. Know, if you're trapped, you're done. Right. You're dead. Right. Your story. Right. Your history. Your story. <laughs> I already forgot. Kaput. <laughs> done. Uh -oh. Finished. Done. Finished. Finito. <laughs> Capici. What about the other, the other musical? Uh, Danny and Sylvia is actually a two-person musical. Okay. And that's about Danny Kay. Um, so I'm doing kind of two um, historically very uh, people-driven musicals. That's where I play Sylvia Fine, which was Danny Kay's wife. And she was very much the person who kind of helped propel Danny to stardom. She wrote a lot of his music. She was his... Um, manager, his agent, his lawyer, his accompanist. Um, Can you do that in a relationship? Songs. Can you be all that in one single relationship? You know, they did. They had that. That's and what they, they had. It, and they pull it off. They did pull it off. Well, I don't know about that. They did pull it off. But, you know, as, as time progressed, most people know that Sylvia was, of course, his wife, but they, a lot of people don't know all the influence that um, he, she had over him. So that's kind of what they find interesting about our, our show itself, is they learn a lot about Sylvia and how that, that influenced him. Now, doing the two shows, how do you manage? Um, how, I mean, I want to hear about, you know, how do you do it? It's a little crazy. There, right. are, like, there are some days where our, um, uh, there, the shows have a bit of a different schedule, obviously, because I can't be doing both at the same time or right. be a crazy person. But um, there are some days where I will do Fanny and literally a half an hour later go and do Danny and Sylvia. And uh, that's... It never gets confusing. It you never be one song to the other show and vice versa. Well, it never happens uh, to you? Uh, that has not not happened yet. Okay, thank let's goodness. Keep our fingers crossed. Knocking on wood. Yes. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. No, it would um, never happen. I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it's it's a little crazy. It's the biggest challenge. It's it so is. fun. And it's it's like that's but a you whole got the talent, challenge. Kimberly. You got oh, the talent, okay. man. You got the chops. You got what it takes. <laughs> Not everybody can do what you're doing. No, Not thanks. every actor can do what you are doing. Thanks. And thanks. You're blushing. There's no reason to blush. <laughs> okay. So now working. What's next after these two shows? Are you taking a break? Oh uh, well, you know what you. I think I think you're always waiting to see what the next project's going to be. You never know what's going to spawn something else. Just like Danny and Sylvia spawned Fanny. I don't know what the next thing is ever going to be. Right. Obviously, um, I'm always working towards new things and new goals. And I mean, I'd love to be in a Broadway show. I'd love to try another something new. Um, but. I'll just keep doing this for for as long as um, I'm Absolutely. able, and and we'll see what happens next. That's what's always exciting about this kind of career. You never know what's next. You never know. That's yeah, the beauty. Never know what's that's next. the scary part too. An unpredictable business. It's unpredictable. Unpredictable. That's right. That's why it's so beautiful. How often do you go to the theater? How often do you go to Broadway to see shows? Um, well, even it's though hard. they are too expensive. I they mean, are. They are expensive. My hands are on the shot. Okay, let me. <laughs> okay. Are they expensive? Are they? Yes, they are. They are expensive, especially How can we for make performers. It yes. Um, 
You know, you do what you can do. You, as a performer, you're always trying to see stuff because you want to know what's out there and you want to know who, who's working and who's not and you want to find out what's out there that's right for you that you could possibly do as well in the future or just for, just for have, being able to sit back and relax and enjoy something that you're not working in. Uh, but I mean, with my schedule, it's hard because I'm either performing in a show and then like I said, I work backstage on Broadway too. That, I want to hear about that. Can we talk about that? Oh, please? sure, sure. All the plays that you've been done before in the past. Yes. Can you I bring done, those names to the table. Well, I um, besides being an actor, I'm a wardrobe dresser, wardrobe also dancer, on Broadway. Uh -huh. It's kind of you have as an actor or as anything in the theater, you always have to be a multitasker because that's how you kind of keep working and, and keep honing your craft, and you're always staying in the field of where you love. So I um, right now I work backstage on Billy Elliot on Broadway as a wardrobe dresser. Um, I've worked on Tarzan and Lion King, Curtains and Grease. I've worked on over ten um, Broadway shows as well while I'm still performing um, and people. People kind of find that hard to believe, but um, you kind of just juggle your schedule well, you and you make it work. you can do it all. You're superwoman. Uh, what, I don't what, know about what, that. What, what, <laughs> well, yes, you are. I want to hear about that experience behind the scenes with all this um, craziness. It's it's. Being, being behind the scenes is quite a bit different than the way, um, obviously, being on stage. Most people who sit in an audience never know what happens backstage. And that's part of the beauty of it, because you're supposed to think it's just like magic. It's happening out of nowhere. Right. Versus like what I do um, what I do on stage, I mean, obviously, you could come see that. But what I'm doing backstage as a dresser, that's actually somebody who helps the actors to change their costumes as the right. show goes along. They're quick changes. Uh, for instance, an actor comes out in one costume and has 30 seconds to come exit and come back in and something. Something, whole, um, something new. Uh -huh. So that's kind of where I come in. I'm standing back there with the costume, waiting to help them get it on so that they can then run back on stage and, and start performing again. Are um, they nice? Are all of them are nice. There's no divas. Oh, yeah. There's no hot mamas uh, there. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can give any of that God. away. <laughs> oh, I know. That's, the, that's what people want to hear. Those are the secrets. That's the dirty um, secrets they all of us were dying uh, to know. Forget well, about conventional uh, stuff. <laughs> We want to hear the gossip. Oh, I don't know. I don't really have any that that <laughs> big of a dirt. But um, well, everybody's you know, I mean, cool. Everybody's nice. Everyone's good. I mean, it's a team effort. It's like you, you know. It, no, it, let me ask you. Do they tip? Well, uh, technically, they should. That's part of just like you're you when you're see? waiting. Yeah, right. actors, actors. That's technically part of um, an unwritten, not an unwritten rule, but just as a courtesy. If if you're because right. it's just like somebody was would wait on you and uh, for tables or um, things like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting my hands. Ginger brothers, tell them just to get your hands out of the shot. It's very difficult. Well, we like to talk with our hands. We like to talk. We're very Italian. <laughs> we're very Italian. Let me put my vampire. Look, <laughs> look at that. You like that? I like it too, oh, Ginger Brother. I need the collar for my dress. You like too. the collar? That's exciting. But so it pretty much, I mean, it's like. What hours? What days? I mean, it's like, what's, what's the schedule um, like? Well, what's your week? Well, my week is usually, uh, depending, it, it changes week to week. Uh, it changes. I have a different amount of shows as far as where I perform in every week. It does, that changes weekly as well. Uh, with, uh, with off Broadway, sometimes you don't always have eight shows a week. Sometimes you have less than that. So it just depends on the week and it depends on the show. Um, as far as Broadway, Broadway also shows shift and change, but they usually have eight shows a week. Um, so it's kind of a juggling thing. I'm, I'm what's called a swing dresser on Broadway. So I, that's how I can juggle my performing with my dressing. Good so when you. I'm not performing, then I can go work backstage on a show. So I'm constantly working. So I get in my 40 hour work week or, or whatever that right. is. You never stop. Never stop. What do you do for fun? I know the work is fun and I, I, I know, I can tell, I can, <laughs> I can sense it. But what do you do for fun? Oh, what do you sleep? do for you sleep besides sleeping? Sleep is always good. I know, right? We're getting older and I can appreciate uh, what I <laughs> uh, I don't know, I like to just relax and like, like uh, sit on a beach or, or read a book or, or hang out with some friends or just have a little bit of a social life or just and not think about theater or think about performing or, or those kinds of things. Just kind of get out of the entertainment a little bit and just kind of right. enjoy the fine, like the little things in life that you, you, know, you don't always get to enjoy. And can you be in the moment? Can you live in the present? Actors, it's kind of hard for us to be. Um, Even though the, that's our job to be in the moment, to be in the present, can, can you do that with um, all your work? Uh, I don't can know. You, you, I mean, it is, again, Again, it's juggling. I, I try to because there's you have to to enjoy it. Right. I mean, we always have something to worry about. We always have, oh, is this the show going to close? Are we going to have to find another job? Are we going to work again? Are we going to get right. another job? Of course. Um, Tell me about it. I, I don't think that's. I think that's never ending. But. Um, you know, the more the more I do this, the more I say, you know, really just enjoy the moment because that's what it's all about. That's what